Hi, I'm Jamie and welcome to the Triumph Trident launch and thank you for joining us. So here it is, the all new Triumph Trident 660, ridden in for us by our Triumph team and led by James Bond stunt coordinator, Lee Morrison, who we'll be hearing from a little bit later on. I'm very excited to be your host for our live launch today and to be able to share with you the full story of this all new Triumph. And with the help of some of the Triumph team to tell you what makes it so special from its triple powered performance advantage to its class leading tech, spec and handling. And to give you the full details on its price and when it'll be available in Triumph dealers. And what better person to start with to tell us about the performance, specification and handling than Triumph's chief engineer, Stuart Wood. Stuart, welcome to the studio. Thank you, Jamie. So Stuart, let's start with the engine. Okay, well the first thing to know is that this is a triple which is something Triumph is very well known for in our award-winning street triple family and the engines that are powering the Moto2 race series. And with the Trident 660, this is the first and only triple in the middleweight roadster category, which brings a really big advantage as our triple combines the low down and mid-range performance of a twin with the top end performance of a four-cylinder engine. In essence, the best of all worlds, fully usable and responsive performance all the way through the rev range. So what are the headline numbers? Well, we've really good numbers. We have a peak power of 81 PS and peak torque of 64 Newton meters. For me, what's great with the Trident is the character and feel of that power and torque delivery, where the Trident gives you over 90% of its peak torque across almost all of the rev range. We also have a slip and assist clutch, which gives you a really light lever action, great for city riding and long trips. Add to this the lovely sound a triple makes and you get a really unique character. And will this be A2 compliant in Europe? Absolutely. There's a conversion kit which restricts it to A2, which can be removed when you pass your test. And so, Stu, tell us about the technology. With the Trident, this is one of the things that makes it really unique, in that you've a great deal of safety and control technology as standard, with features you just don't get on any other bike in the class. First up, you have two riding modes, switchable traction control, which is tailored for each riding mode, and a ride-by-wire throttle, which is all class leading and allows the bike to be set up to suit the conditions, giving you really great confidence and safety. The Trident has ABS, and we have these fantastic new multifunctional instruments with color TFT display, which also allows you to add Triumph's unique connectivity system, which gives you turn-by-turn -turn navigation, unique GoPro control, plus phone and music operation. Finally, the Trident has full LED lighting, from the headlight to the tail light, and these slim self-canceling indicators, which together not only look great, but are also maintenance free and give you a bright white light with increased visibility. Well, at the start, I mentioned the bike has class leading handling, which is quite a, quite a statement. Can you explain how you've achieved this? Well, Jamie, this starts with thinking about what the rider really values, which with this type of bike is having a balance of easy, natural maneuverability and feel. Something that inspires confidence, married to a ride that's also fun and dynamic when you want it to be. And hitting this balance comes from a combination of things that have to be developed as a whole bike approach. And what's that made up of? First, we're aiming for a chassis and riding position that feels really comfortable, but also engaging for the rider, with a narrow width and a low 805 millimeter seat height that allows most people to get their feet flat on the floor at a standstill, but without feeling cramped when riding. The seat has been designed with both the rider and pillion needs in mind, with a deep foam construction for both without compromising on the bike's minimal look. All the key components need to be of a really high standard. For the suspension, the Trident has premium Showa upside down forks and also a Showa Monoshock RSU, which is adjustable for preload. We have branded Nissin brakes with twin 310 mm discs at the front, plus Michelin Road 5 tires and lightweight tapered aluminium bars. Finally, throughout the whole process, we were focused on reaching a target weight that delivers that light and dynamic feel, which I'm pleased to say is just 189 kilos, fueled and ready to go. Well, that's a really impressive list. Well, thanks, Stu. So I want to talk about one of the most important things for everyone, the looks. And here to help is Triumph's Chief Product Officer, Steve Sargent. So Steve, can you tell us what the inspiration was and what you were aiming for with the Trident? Hi, Jamie. Well, the brief for the Trident was all about fun, from the look to the ride. Now, whilst this marks the reintroduction of a legendary name, celebrating Triumph triples of the past, we were looking for an all new middleweight roadster that would bring a new take on Triumph's character and style, alongside the quality of the fit and finish that we're known for. 
Now central to the whole brief, of course, is that compact Triumph triple engine and an all new chassis. Now that was designed to combine a confidence inspiring feel with a really natural riding position. Now, as you can see from the prototype bike that we revealed in August at the Design Museum in London, we were aiming for a really pure minimalist form with clean lines that bring together Triumph's design DNA with more than a hint of Triumph's speed triples muscular poise. Now, one thing that's worth highlighting, Jamie, is that we don't think about style as a separate topic when we're designing our bikes, but we aim to continually integrate all aspects of form and function together focusing on the complete motorcycle and riding experience. So Steve, what are the highlights when it comes to the individual features? Now for me, probably some of the most distinctive features are the contemporary fuel tank design, which is Triumph's signature knee cutouts, and the really elegant and minimal rear styling with the swing arm mounted number plate, plus the single headlight and the five spoke black wheels. Now together they give the Trident its really distinctive silhouette. Now my personal favorite for combining looks and functionality has to be the Trick new TFT with its super clean information display and slim profile. And what are the color options for the bike? So there are four color schemes to choose from, including this silver ice and Diablo red option and the crystal white option, which is on the stage over there. Plus we also have a matte jet black and silver ice scheme and a sapphire black scheme as well. And for me, the two that have the graphic Triumph badge design are really bold and striking. And finally, Steve, will there be a big range of accessories for the Trident? So, yes, there will be. Now, we know riders in this world are looking for versatility, and they really value additional features for performance and practicality. So with this in mind, we will have a range of 45 Trident accessories, some of which are shown on this bike here. And these include an up and down quick shifter, the pillion grab handles, and internally wired heated grips, an aluminium belly pan, color match fly screen, bar end mirrors, scrolling LED indicators, and this quick release tank bag and matching tail pack. Plus, of course, the My Triumph connectivity system that Stuart mentioned earlier. That all sounds fantastic. Thank you, Steve. Right, to finish off, let's have a word with Paul Stroud, Triumph's chief commercial officer, about the all important news, when you can get one and how much it will cost. Thank you, Jamie. When it came to building the Trident, we were looking to create a highly competitive and highly attractive entry point into Triumph's award-winning Roadster range, and also deliver real value to a new generation of Triumph riders. To achieve this, for me, comes down to three critical things. First, the Trident has to be really competitively priced, and I'm pleased to confirm that the new Trident will be £7,195, which I think you'll agree is a really great price. Secondly, making that price even more compelling is that you get all of that class leading specification and technology that Stuart mentioned earlier, fitted as standard, which makes the Trident even better value against its competitors. And then finally, the Trident will come with a two year unlimited mileage warranty, class leading 10,000 miles or 16,000 kilometer service intervals and it also has the lowest service workshop time in the category, which combined gives you an unbeatable overall low cost of ownership. Yeah, well, I mean, that is certainly a lot of bike for the money, and 10,000 miles is a very long service interval. Yes, indeed. The Trident's engine has been developed from our highly successful and reliable triple engine platform, including the one used to power our award-winning street triple range with more than 600,000 Triumph triples being built and sold to date. For the Trident 660, it benefits from its own engine development, featuring 65 new components, its own unique tune, and reliability testing that has covered the equivalent of over half a million miles. So Jamie, we are very confident, as with all of our Triumphs, that this will be a great motorcycle. And as I said earlier, the Trident will come with a two-year unlimited mileage warranty all over the world. So the final question for me, Paul, is uh, when will I able to uh, book myself in at the local dealership and take one for a test ride? The new Trident will be coming into our dealerships next year in late January. Our test rides will be available from that point onwards. However, for customers wishing to be one of the first to ride a new Trident 660, our dealers will be literally taking customer deposits from today. Thank you, Paul. The Trident certainly looks awesome to me. I can't wait to ride one.
I'd like to thank the team and everyone for watching and joining us. Let's finish with a word from Lee Morrison, James Bond stunt coordinator who kicked us off today by riding the bike in. Hi Lee, I know you've had a lot of fun on the bike, but what do you think? Hi Jamie, I mean, what can I say? I've been listening to all the facts and all I can add is that you really need to get your hands on one just to experience how good this is. I love the triple engine and that the way the bike handles. It's so light, agile, I feel at home straight away. Plus it's got all the technology that really matters. It's a great package and I think Triumph's done an amazing job. Thank you, Lee. So there you have it, the all new Trident 660, a triple powered advantage, class leading technology and handling, all at a really competitive price. So let's take one last look at it in action. Mm -hmm.